So what are some of the benefits of developing team coaching skills? Well, it's about adding to your individual skill set. Most leaders that we work with are leading teams, are on teams or both. Most coaches are coaching people who lead teams or are team members. And one of the most frequent issues that leaders are asking is how do I lead and develop my team? So that's really a huge thing right now. And also um, this whole idea of team literacy is coming up so much more as teams are becoming so vital to organizational success that to coach leaders or to coach in organizations or to lead in the 21st century, there needs to be a level of team literacy and being able to be skilled in this area. Um, we work with uh, a, a team right now who in their organization, the whole organization wants to move to distributed trust, uh, flattening their organization completely and really trying to create this distributed or leadership in an organization. It's a total shift from a hierarchical organization, but they feel it's essential to be adaptive and innovative in the emerging world. So every leader in that organization has to learn how to do this. Uh, it's global. They're employing coaches and team coaches in, in countries all over the world. Uh, and the challenge is, is massive for them. A uh, question came in, is, is team coaching top down versus bottom up? Uh, 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 is it a human resources thing or is it staff or, or is it beyond? Um, our experience with organizations is that it often tends to be a, a top down head office thing as the, the case I just mentioned. 